Hey guys, so it's already time to start thinking about Easter again for this year. I feel like we just did Easter baskets a couple of months ago, but time just flies by. So the only thing left that I have to put in Lucas's basket is I'll probably get a little bit of candy and stick in some eggs since he's getting a little older. That way he can just kind of enjoy, you know, opening up the eggs and seeing what's inside. So other than that, I'm pretty much done with his basket. So let me show you what all I've gotten him. Kept it pretty simple, and I usually do for Easter. He's already gotten some swimsuits about a month ago, so we're good to go with that kind of stuff. So I just picked up some books and just some playful spring and summer stuff. So I've actually picked up the Llama Llama books for... I believe it was Valentine, maybe Halloween. Anyway, I picked up a few, so I thought I'd just keep with the tradition since they're so cute. So I picked up the Easter egg book one. And then I picked up quite a few things in the Target, like Dollar Spot area. That place is awesome for some Easter baskets. And I thought this would be a great little game for him to play. And it was only $3, and it's the wooden lacing shapes. He might have a little trouble with this, but I feel like once I kind of show him what to do, then he'll kind of understand. And if you haven't seen this before, it just comes with the lace and then you can just kind of go in and out. And I thought that would be a good little technique, especially since he's in speech therapy, just to kind of help him do something new and different. And I found this big pack I don't remember where I bought this. I might got this at Michael's when they were having a big sale on the Crayola stuff, but it's just the washable kids paint. He's really into painting now, so I thought this would be great. He has lots of coloring books that he could use, and you can even find like the little ceramic stuff at the Dollar Tree for just a dollar to paint. So, like I said, I got this really cheap. I think it was around two, maybe three dollars. I thought that was a pretty good deal. And he really enjoys painting these days. I found this on a whim. I believe it was only a dollar. It was. And it's an Easter grow toy. He's never had one. And it's a bunny. And it's one of those, I think, where you put it in water. And then it just grows. So, yeah. I was just one of those whims where I was like, oh, he might find this interesting to put in water. And then it'll grow. So, I feel like he has chalk up the yin yang but you know you just can't beat a dollar of chalk and these are actually eggs he just has the sticks so I thought this would be great for Easter I think they got these at the Dollar Tree and I've seen some at the Target dollar spot as well like I said you just never can go wrong with some chalk and I had to get him a cute little bubble wand and it's just a bunny and I got this from the Target dollar spot as well and I believe this was about a dollar but I've seen these also at Michael's for about a dollar too so yeah I thought he loves bubbles so I thought the wand would be really cool just to kind of pull out and like swoosh around and make really big bubbles I think his dad picked this up when we were at Target and it was only a dollar and it's just a little bouncy ball that has like glitter and there's a bunny in there and he loves to bounce balls so his dad picked this up to throw in his basket. And last but not least, he's never had shape putty before and it was only a dollar. With his therapy, he's been much better with messy play. So I've been trying to get him unique things, I guess is the best way to say, for him to kind of start touching stuff because he's real picky with foods, but being with his messy play, he's really opened up with more foods. So I just try to find different kind of messy play stuff when I can. So I thought this putty, he kind of because isn't this stuff like supposed to be a little wet, you know, but it's like putty slash Play-Doh slash wet slash gooey slimy. <laughs> anyway, I think Michael said he used to play with this stuff when he was little. I never did, but I thought this would be a great just kind of messy play so he can just touch and feel a new texture. So that's going to do it for Lucas's Easter basket. Let me know in the comments down below what are some of the unique things you like to put in your kids Easter baskets. I know some people have like traditions. Like I said he's already gotten a few swimsuits for this year so he's good to go. I didn't want to get him any more of that. And you know he kind of has like the basic stuff so I just picked a few little fun 
things that he's into right now. And I think he's going to really enjoy everything in his basket. So thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. Thank you.